Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our uh, latest video. My name is Steve Gamble. I'm the president and owner of Edit This. And in today's video, I actually want to talk about a blog that I wrote uh, a couple of days ago on how writers can organize the writing process. Uh, this is something that uh, is very um near and dear to me and timely just from the standpoint of I am a writer and an editor and I do crank out um, a lot of content um, every single day. And um, one area that many writers, including myself, struggle in is just getting ourselves organized for the writing process. You know, we, we all have these great ideas floating around in our head. Um, maybe it's uh, some notes that we've written down. Uh, but the problem is, is that most of the time those notes are, are, are all over the place. Uh, maybe they're on four or five different post-it notes. Um, they're floating around in our head. Um, there's uh, interviews that we recorded and we need to transcribe. And basically it's just uh, what it does is it creates a lot of disorganization. Um, and so when we finally do sit down to write, uh, we're not sure where to start or which end is up really. Uh, and that can make for a lot of really long hours of staring at a blank computer screen. So anyway, I wrote this blog. Here's how writers can organize the writing process. And I pretty much detailed out um, how I go about uh, my organization uh, in terms of uh, sitting down to write. And I wanted to share that with you guys today. So real quick, Here's how I go about doing it. Off in the right-hand corner of my screen, I keep this document right here. It's called Stuff. I know, really high-tech name, right? Well, literally, that's what it is, though. It's just a document full of um, notes and thoughts and, and um, interviews that I've, I've had uh, that I've needed to transcribe and things of that nature. Um, and I start with this document. Basically, I pull it up, and if I'm working on a particular project, let's just say for the sake of this conversation, I'm uh, about to write a feature article on a, on a local business, okay? Well, what I do is I write down all the notes from the interview that I may have had, um, some notes that I, uh, some thoughts that I have um, just initially, Um Anything that I can think of that has to do uh, with this particular article that I'm working on, research that I may have found on the internet that's going to help me, um, again, interviews, you name it, I put it all down right here. Uh, the next thing that I do is I uh, free write my raw thoughts um, into an outline or a story shell in this same document right here. Um, I don't worry about punctuation, grammar, spelling, or uh, you know, style or anything like that at this point. I'm just writing down raw thoughts just to kind of get myself into a position where I basically have everything all in one spot. And that's essentially what I do uh, in, in, in just a couple of steps. What I've done is I've organized the writing process for myself. It may still be a lot of information. And it may be simplistic in nature uh, just by listening to this, but at least it's all in one document. Uh, there's no need to refer to your notepad, uh, listen to any recordings, uh, plan as you write, because really it's all mapped out right there in front of you. Um, one thing that I like to do after this discovery and organization stage, as I call it, is I, I take a break and I just let all these thoughts um, you know, marinate in my mind, so to speak. Uh, a few hours later, I'll sit down and what I'll do is I'll pull up a fresh document, the document that I'm actually going to write my article in, and I'll pull it off to the left-hand side here. And as you can see, what I've done is I've got everything all on one screen so I can write my article, my formal article. And I can refer to all the notes that I have and anything that I need to pull from that, I can automatically have at my fingertips and be able to include on my new article. So anyway, that's today's uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's a pretty simplistic process. 
But sometimes when we get disorganized, even the most simplistic answers uh, to our problems uh, slip through our fingers. Uh, we don't quite think of them as clearly as, as we should. So I hope this video uh, will help you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and um, we'll have some more videos in the future. Thank you.